Okay, so as a, a little added bonus, I'm going to show you how I make bikini bottoms from an underwear pattern. Now the underwear pattern I'm using is again Megan Nielsen and I know I sound like the biggest fangirl of her, which I am, but I swear I'm not getting paid for this. Um, and I'm using her Acacia underwear pattern, which is free if you sign up for her newsletter. So if you pop online and, and Google Acacia underwear, you will find it. Um, this is the first time I've used it, so <laughs> hopefully it does fit me. Um, all I've done, the only changes I've made, is I've raised the height of them because they are quite low and that doesn't really work for me or my body. So what I've done is cut the same out of lining. So there's a back piece with back lining, front piece with front lining, and there's a gusset with gusset lining. Now instead of elastic, I'm going to use bands from fabric, the fabric we've just used, the spandex, just because I like that kind of finish for swimmers. It's really comfy as well, it doesn't dig in. So there's, there's leg bands, which you'll have to measure your thighs or the opening of the leg. Um, and then you'd want to use about 85% of that measurement so that you've got some tightening of the leg holes and waist so they don't fall off in the water or bag out. So I'll do the lining first and what you're going to do is make two the same. So you're going to make two pairs basically. You're going to make one from the lining and one from the outer. to ease that gusset piece in so it lines up that lines up beautifully actually so back piece gusset piece front piece I'll attach it at the side seams. You'll notice I don't pin anything, but you definitely can. Whatever is easiest for you. So there's one piece or pair, that's the lining. Now we'll do exactly the same with the outer. And if you want to know if you have to make a lining for swimmers, it sort of works two ways. It will protect them a little bit from becoming transparent when wet and it also provides a little bit of extra support and you can't really have the same gusset that you would in underwear in swimmers because it will just fill up the sand so this way no sand can get into any of the pieces now you have your outer. Now I'm going to attach, I'm going to put the lining inside 
the outer. They're going to be wrong sides together and I'm going to line them up at important points like the side seams and the gussets and then I'm going to baste them together at the waist and the leg openings so that they're easier to handle when we start adding the bands. Okay, so I basted around the waist and the leg opening, so I've basted the, the lining to the outer fabric, so it's just easier to handle. I'll do, um, I'll do the waistband first. So right sides together, short ends together. In half, lengthways, wrong sides together, right sides out. I find it easier to clip these bits to make them stay, but you can um, you can base this also if you like. It does make it easier to handle. So um, I'm going to clip it into quarters. so that then we can line it up with the, the waist opening, or the waist, the waist of the swimmers. Now to, to, to place it, to quarter it, you can, um, you can use pins to mark your quarters or you can use actual markings like from chalk or pen, up to you. Now I've actually cut this waistband in the opposite direction to my swimmers. Um, it doesn't matter with this fabric because it stretches the same amount both in both directions. But if your fabric has different amount, amounts of stretch, you want the, fab, the most amount of stretch to go around your body. Now I've, I've already notched the centre front and centre back on these so I'm going to line my waistband up with those and also with the side seams just so everything's even because you'll find you, have to, you do have to stretch your waistband and your leg bands to match, to line up and the reason for that is like I mentioned earlier to, to to bring everything in and um, help it fit better and sit better. If your bands were the same length as your openings, they would just flop around. You want them to be more tightly fitted. Okay, I'm going to start at the side seam. Threaded in my overlocker. <laughs> so I'm going to fix that up. Okay, so finally <laughs> we have a waistband and now I'm just going to do the same for the leg bands. <laughs> 